So I was browsing around and I recently re-saw this video from Stats Labs where he turns his old Mac into a Mac server which and then he could use Time Machine to back up his newer Macs and I was thinking what if I could use my home server be that a Pi or a NAS or whatever um, into a Time Machine and it turns out that I can so I, I came up on this thread, which s some things did work and didn't, but um, what basically you need to do is just sudo install netatalk, and then once that's installed, it comes bundled with this Avahid um, This is an old article. They usually had uh, this separate but now with the um, Netatalk 3.0 it comes bundled and um, after you install that and then you have to edit this file the Netaf Netatalk configuration which is right here um, you just gotta uncomment this my time machine volume, the path, and the time machine goes to yes. The paths are going to change to wherever the path is going to be saved. This uh, AFP volume, Apple files, um, you can enable if you wanted to. I, I did just in case I needed to use it. And then once that's uh, saved, uh, you will also have to create a file from Avahi. So create a file called afpd.service and then in that file you're gonna have exactly what I have here which just specifies the TCP ports and the device info that uh, your Mac's gonna try to, to connect to which is basically saying you're trying to connect to an XServe just so it, this all works and your Mac thinks it's trying to connect to another Mac to do a time machine. Uh, that being done, you're going to restart both services. And after that's restarted, you just go ahead in your finder, you command K, and then you're going to point to your local machine uh, through AFP colon forward slash forward slash which my, in my case is 192.168.0.21 and once you connect it's gonna show well for me it's gonna show because I have enabled the FP volume and then my time machine volume this you can rename on the configuration file that I showed you earlier and then once you connect it's going to show up here in your in your finder and then once you go to configuration time machine and then you select disk it's going to show up as a local network time machine and you can use it as you want it to as you can see I have still 300 gigs available it was just backed up yesterday and it's all perfectly working as it was a Mac um, I believe you can also point this as um, your public IP if uh, you have that enabled uh, and yeah that's basically it I think that's gonna help a lot of people because it sure as hell didn't because now I don't have to buy an airport card with the time machine that I was gonna buy in Craigslist and this is gonna save me a lot of time as well thanks guys for watching see you guys